report, work to reduce wildfire risks has economic benefits. Albuquerque, New Mexico, AP, projects to reduce the risk of wildfires and protect water sources in the U.S. West have created jobs and infused more money in local economies, researchers say, and they were funded by a partnership between governments and businesses that has become a model in other countries. A team from the U.S. Geological Survey reviewed work being done in several counties along the New Mexico-Colorado border that make up the watershed of one of North America's longest rivers, the Rio Grande. The review shows how public-private partnerships could become a critical component for safeguarding the land and benefiting the economy amid the threat of federal funding cuts and worsening wildfires brought on by climate change. The study focused on 2018, when the partnership, called the Rio Grande Water Fund, doled out $855,000 to contractors in the region. The spending supported an estimated 22 jobs, ranging from forest thinning to research, environmental consulting and fence removal. That translated to more than $1 million in labor income and $1.9 million in benefits for the regional economy. Spending in the area supported an estimated 15 jobs and more than $1.1 million in economic output for the 13 counties in the Rio Grande's upper watershed, according to the findings. In all, the Nature Conservancy, which launched the partnership, estimates the work has had an economic impact of about $18 million within five years. We've always known the Water Fund created jobs to get the work done. Now, we know the true economic impact, said Steve Bassett, head of planning and data analysis for the advocacy group. The organization and others have been pushing for land managers to consider more landscape-level restoration work as a hedge against climate change. In New Mexico, Colorado and other parts of the American West, officials persistently warn that hotter, Drier conditions are ingredients for more intense fires and those types of blazes can cause more harm by damaging the soil and clogging watersheds with ash, sediment and debris. The U.S. Bureau of Land Management announced last week its plans to build and maintain up to 11,000 miles, 17,703 kilometers, of strategically placed fuel brakes across several western states to control wildfires across nearly 350,000 square miles, 906,500 square kilometers. The work will involve manual, mechanical and chemical treatments, including prescribed fire and targeted grazing. It comes after the agency set a record last year for the number of square miles, 1,322, 3,424 square kilometers, treated to reduce the risk of wildfire. The U.S. Forest Service also has been playing catch-up, but that could become more challenging as the Trump administration's proposed budget for the next fiscal year calls for cutting funding for some research. For more on this story, visit the news article link.